Hello and welcome to my daily vlog here on the farm in South Yorkshire where it's raining again. Oh, it's like a broken record, this, isn't it? Um, it just gets nice and then it rains again. Hopefully, I've come in early because I want to try and get some stuff done. And then there is a machinery show, um, or an open day, sorry, r and machinery, we've got an open day today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get there. It just depends if we've got some cattle to get out and things like that. Um, but yeah, starting early is a good start, isn't it, to try and get there. Right, so we've opened up the shed. We better uh, jump on the straw blower, I think, get a bit... Well, we've got to jump on the straw blower because it's blocking everything in. So we've got to, got to go on this one first. So we'll get the gates open. I can get backed up here. Cleaned off that path yesterday, me and Noah. Made a good job. Been going on there and then making a mess on the uh, feed trough, which is no good. So we cleaned it all off yesterday and we're shutting that gate every time now so they don't make the same mess again. Right, so I put a bale out um, on the path. We'll now feed them and get a bit of them jobs ticked off. See, look, as soon as I'm out of the way, it's trying to get up there already. Well, those guys were all happy. So we'll shut the gate. Done. There's still plenty more to feed though. And then I need to get back on the blower and get that done. All these yards now are looking fresh and lovely. Keep them clean and dry. So I've just been blowing the straw in there. These guys have got a little bit of their mix left. Only a little bit as well. So we're just going to kick that up to them. Um, rather than use the tyres. Delete that up and we'll make a new mix straight away. Oh, that's good to see. They're all eating now. Right, so I've got laptop in hand um, and we are going to vaccinate some cows. So if you watched yesterday's video, you've seen we had some arrive and then I think we had some, I picked some up from Thirst, didn't I? We've got to do them, get them all vaccinated, wormed then they're super, super healthy and um, they can do what they need to do here, which is eat food, put on weight, and then that pays our bills. So we need to look after them as best we can. So we're gonna get these guys out. They're all nice and relaxed. Laid down. And um, get them vaccinated, wormed, fluked, all that job. Right, we're just gonna run some cattle about now. Block the yard off with a mixer in the forklift. That sunshine. Here they go with the mates. Oh, I've had John Deere Mick on the phone. He's going to get himself over here and we're going to get to um, RMV machinery. See a different type of green tractor there. Can we can we um, convince Mick to, to change from John Deere? I don't know. But, um, yeah, it'd be nice. It's local machinery dealer and um, it's nice to support them. I'm on the nine meter. Um, no, it's just sorting that. We're going to get some straw from around the back. The last few bales, I imagine, from the straw stack that's outside. Hey, ask the question uh, yesterday or the day before. Why don't we um, use the good bales that are in the shed through the winter, seeing as we're using more of them, and keep these ones until like the spring or summer that have been outside? Well, the reason is, them in that shed, they'll keep for years, like three, four, five years. Just, as long as they keep dry, they keep forever. These outside, we want using as quickly as possible because they're exposed to the elements, they're getting water on them, they're going to start rotting. So that's why we use the outside stacks first and then we get onto the, um, the stuff that's in the barn last. Ideally we'd have everything inside the barn, but um, yeah, we just haven't got the barn space. Maybe one day though, I always like to expand and um, yeah. Hopefully one day we'll get all our straw under cover. Or maybe just have one stack outside. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, that'd be the dream. Furs here. Sure, furs here. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get on. Mix just said, why don't you take your drone? I'm like, oh, that's what I've got you for, Mick. You, you just, you know what you I need to do, don't you? Yeah? So I, I go and get it. I think I left it in the tractor. Yeah, look, it's, it's tinkering with me drill now. Mm. What's up? All day Saturday, I thought you were turning right. <laughs> Why? Every time you break, you put your yellow light on, and I've you've got, you've got your lens up on. Oh, you put it. You no, know, I spun it round. Uh, when I was changing lights, making sure everything worked right, making it work wrong. 
Well, we're here. It's flash, it? Flash, isn't it? Yeah. Love a Sylvan vineyard. Mm. Oh, I think they were putting these in actually last time we were at the open day here. Very fancy. Been doing some proper ditching down here. And we're here. We're going to get parked up. There's plenty here. Plenty of Deutsch tractors. And the kale stuff. It's like in this. It'd be better for you, that, rather Why? than my one. I don't like that colour, I like your colour. What, blue one? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Mick says he'll have mine if I buy this. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Do they move? What's these chains? They must be to keep keep, 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 keep muck off. It gets wet. Yeah. As it goes around, it's got to pull it on. And then paddles level it off. Mm, they have them on them Dalbo rollers. Ah, oh, yeah, they do, don't they? Mm. Lift them in and out. From R and V is going to show us something now. Is this is this for camera? This. This is for camera. This. Oh yes, here we go. How many dealer open days can you go to? Yeah. Where you've got a bar on site. A bar on site. Hey, it's not. To, it doesn't look like any bar either, does it? That's why you wanted me to drive. You know <laughs> I might have seen it, Mick. I yeah. might have seen it. Like to make your way to Greece. Wow. Bloody heck. They haven't messed about in here, have they? So is this a restaurant as well then? In the usual CPU terms? Yeah, loads, um, venue, does parties, uh, private hires, uh, does Christmas dues. Ah. Like that. so. That's why it looks so flash on way in with Van Vineyard and that, Mick. I thought they were in Vegas, in the casino. It's well done, that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really well done. A little indoor fountain here. Wow, what? Yeah, what a venue. <laughs> Dre on tap. Look at this. It's like a film set. But it's all based on Mamma Mia. So he went down, he went down to London and then... Went down to London and then decided to obviously yeah. make his own. Yeah. <laughs> He's done a fantastic job. Like, what a cracking, cracking job it is. I was just laughing, saying that the, the grain drying floors here, and then Richard says that they blow the hot air through it to warm, warm the place. What an idea. Well, I came here to look at some tractors, and I, I feel like I've spent more time looking at this, because this is, this is, yeah, mint. Nice uh, 10, no, 8 rotor rake here from McHale. Looks a weapon, that, doesn't it? Turn some grass with that, 10 metre. Yeah. Nice big rakes, they look well made, don't they? They do. Are they? I don't know. Normally the uh, PTO goes across like that, doesn't it? But they're coming on a diagonal. I'm teaching Mick how to count today. Mm. He thought it was 10, and then I was like, ah, it looks like a 10, doesn't it? It's it's like said, it said 10, I just wanted to know. Yeah. Um, look, so we've got some sky agriculture, which used to be sulky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same as my drill, yeah. 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 No, in fact, that one's oh. not sulky, still written on it. What power so if you've got a new drill, you're be, be a sky. sky. Yeah. Mm. Got 125 horsepower. Yeah. So similar to your 125, Mick. Yeah. Or our 130, really. It's Five, five horsepower, we're not talking about a yeah. much difference, are we? Like a stock tractor. It is, yeah, it's got like a load of, well, it's got a load of brackets on it, hasn't it? That's why. What you find? What you found? Your, your snap box? It's not big enough for a snap. Uh, I don't want to wreck it. Does it off? Yeah. Ah, there we go. I didn't want to break it. It's toolbox in, isn't it? Looks like it. <laughs> Slides in. We'll have a quick look in here. Look at how new it is. It's still got everything around it. Even on the steering wheel. <laughs> so yeah, you've got your load of, load of controls there. Um, looks like this has got an actual, actual gears, hasn't it? Um, manual spools like that. They must be your revs. 
and PTO on and off. Yeah, tidy. Where's radio? Not one a minute, I don't think. The bottom of me was there. there. Yeah. Get close to us. To whatever yeah, spec you want to yeah. radio. Boom suspension for your loader. And it looks like here. Yeah. yeah. See out to the sky. You've got low, medium, and high, and then you've got five gears in each one. Maybe some splitters. I don't know if that's what they're for. Pointing stuff out now that he likes. Isolate a switch on here inside the cab. Looks like it to me. Isn't it? That's what we think anyway. Yeah. Not that we're experts in this. No, no way. Little touches though, like mm. leather it's... there. Yeah, so. Yeah, not, like you didn't expect that. It wouldn't no, have mattered if it wasn't, would it really? Plastic or even metal. Yeah. It's no, alright. Nicely. Nicely done out. But here we've got the 7250 Warrior in the black edition. I think Warrior means it's in the black edition. Uh, lots of Mikhail stuff as well. We've got one of them. I think we've got one of these somewhere, not a Mikhail one. It's orange, don't know what make it is, it's that old. Never really use it. But I'd have thought this is really handling the front and side mower very easily. Um, I'd have thought you could even do a butterfly on there, wouldn't you? I reckon you could probably, you could get a butterfly on 250. Oh yeah? I reckon you can bolt one on. That's why it waits as well. To balance it. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. That setup for butterfly. Mm. Both sides. Possible. Uh, although that's welded onto there, mate. I'm just thinking arm for other side. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. But I, but I bet the Ute's same frame though. That's. I bet the Ute's same gearbox though for. One or two, because that's that's yeah, because that's with two, uh, two outlets, yeah, type of thing. Yeah, you use it, see what I mean? Don't standardize it well, yeah, to, so like make things, making, yeah, a million different yeah. parts. This what got Mikhail that way. Oh, yeah, Mick was saying, like, you see, um, Ford ones and John Deere, and never really think of Mikhail having their own no, weights, yeah. <laughs> they do. We got somebody we're going to throw you under the bus now. <laughs> Thanks. Advertise the tractor run that's happening on Saturday. Uh, it's at Wards of Trowie in uh, Trowie. Trowie? Yeah, uh, we do it every year. It's third year running now. We do it for Yellow Wellies just to raise a bit of awareness. All right. Get everyone talking. And how can they find details on it? Can people still get their tractors there? Yeah, so Wards of Trowie on Facebook. It's got like a little red logo of a cow. Right. Uh, it's a farm shop. Or Plesley Young Farmers have advertised it as well. Okay. There you go. Check it out if you're in the area. Either support it on the way or get your tractor there. Business. That's where it's going from. So check them out there. Like a, you know when you see them like serial killers, Go on, we and they put all plastic around everywhere. Oh, so if I it's like if out. I get in here, oh, you're something could happen to me. You're not getting back out. I might not be getting back out. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps everything clean. No, no, there's some mucky farmers coming about. So this is the Piesta Resistance, this one. This is the bee's knees. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's like a Vario. Nice little uh, joystick if you've got a loader or to use your hydraulic oh, functions. It? Change your PTO your on bar. there. Before you spool bar on that. Hey, I tell you what, I do like that, mate. So I often am sat waiting for my John Deere screen to load uh, up. Yeah. Just change your speed. What? Like yeah. Um, so yeah, nice little, they're like car vents them aren't they? Flashy. I had a Citroen C2 it had vents like that. They might be from it. They might be. Lights all on there, don't have to go into the screen. The buttons, yeah, yeah, just like, some nice buttons, yeah. turn on what you want. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's tidy. Is it Good visibility. Digital, uh, heating? <laughs> ah, it looks like display. it's... What's that in your temp as well as... Yeah, it looks like it's climate control, doesn't it? Has it got auto? Ah, oh, yeah, auto yeah, there. That's what it's been on. Yeah, bees and ease. That's, that's vents. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Looks like a Dalek's nose. Got a. I thought it was fridge, but it's not. 
And it was saying, weren't you, Mick, that you can get... Oh, yeah, phone holder, tidy. You can get an external screen. So there's an unlock you can do. You can get an iPad, and then you can take that, because it gets it through Wi-Fi on the tractor, out of your machine. So if yeah. you wanted to test, like, your sections on your sprayer... Can you can do it from outside the cab, like turn them on, turn them off. Oh yeah, these are working, not working. Mm. Like if you had a baler and you were wanting to do the remote functions, I think you were saying like on the McHale Fusion, yeah. you can oh, move some stuff. See if Rapper will look see if stuff you would just screen them. Whatever they do. So this is not expensive to, 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 um, to unlock that as well. But right. you need an iPad as well. <laughs> Everyone's got an iPad. Have you got an iPad? If that's what they call it, I think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Huddle yeah. or something, is it? Huddle? Is it huddle? Cud uh, a cuddle? No, not a cuddle. <laughs> huddle. Uh, huddle. Hub. Hub. Hub or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Mick's got one of them. Uh, That's what it'll be, Mick. A tablet. Is that what it'll be? Yeah. You've got a tablet. It works anyway. You're Tracy, no. Uh, <laughs> just, just, just do it. Does its job. Not right, we'll get out. We'll have a look at something else. That's how you get out. What? Twist. So you wouldn't have the uh, the John Deere one where nobody, your passenger never knows what to do, does he? If they've never been in one. You can't open, can you? You just twist that. It does look really well from the front with them lights. Beast. Hopefully, if this wind dies down, we're going to get the drone out and send it around here. We can get a bit of a shot of what's, uh, what's about. It's quite a nice setup. Got. So we got lots of Deutsches here. Sorry about the wind, guys, if uh, it's picking up on the camera. There we go. Here is a 2.30, so probably more, um, more akin to our 2.15, somewhere along those lines. Mick's going to get in driver's seat. Got a battery switch there. This is the same setup as that other one, isn't it? it? Looks, that yeah, it will be. Black edition one. Yeah. Welcome. There's no, there's no lever outside though, like that small one, is there? Is that what that had got? Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know in that yeah, first yeah, one we looked yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. Not that it matters. Lever seat though. And a slattered sun blind. Look at that. Like Venetian oh. blinds. Oh, it's a solid one. Yeah. Not, not, not a... That's what we've worked out. So. Fresh air let, let one. Fresh air through when you got your wind but window up. Keep sunlight. Yeah. It's raining, so we should, isn't it? I was just saying, this is handy. Instead of having one big door, you can have a little bit of fresh air if you... Yeah, lop and side window up. Mm, just handy. It is nice, that, because you see some people riding around with back window open, don't yeah, you? Like, listening for stuff. Yeah. It's like, you just open that just up and little... listen to exhaust a minute. In fact... Quick look at the McHale straw blower. While we're here. Around bales. Um, it's not very long, is it? That one. I think you can get bigger ones. Whether you'd get a, you might get a square one with back door down. Back door's right up into it, showing you how compact it is. Looks well. So we've just been looking at um, the wrapper with Kieran and Ford Fusion. Ford Fusion. Ford Fusion. Is there a Ford Fusion? There is. A, there are a Ford Fusion. McHale Fusion. That's what I'm on about. Fusion for thinking about Ford Focus. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Kieran was just saying that if anybody knows the Hamish uh, in America, like they use everything in old, old like times, using horses and things like that. Make sure one of them with an engine on that, pulled by horses. Looking, it might be better for picking up on end if it were on wheels like that. Should just be able to just lift it up a bit. Because they're, they're, they're holding it square, aren't they? And true. Though well, there might be some, there might be some adjustment on it. Oh yeah, the, yeah, no, no, they're done, they're done. They're done. Two bits in here, so we've got cramps, cramps here. <laughs> um, we've also got uh, Lynx, Tama, uh, Vapormatic in the corner here, Shoe Room, which is a local uh, shoe shop, and Diamond Fertilizer. We've just been looking at this. So you stick them on your like your plough or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You dip in the seat, so you've got 
about eight different modes. And also for the final oh, spot mode as well. Yeah. No, no, they're good. Oh yeah. And this this pack here charges them. So you put that in your tractor. It charges it. Oh, and you can even charge it from tractor. Never has to go in the house. Sorted. We're looking at face masks now. Trying to make make look better. Oh, you're cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're walking, you <laughs> I might be. Um, so, yeah, these guys are like an alternative to 3M that um, Cramp are using now. This one's for spraying that I've got in my hand here. That's, the, that's this one, isn't it? Yeah. BLS Zero. Yeah. And it's waterproof on the outside. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Nice. I'm going to get Mick into some nice shoes from a showroom at Doncaster. Richard here. He'll sort you out some quality gear. You got some nice looks. I might have a pair of them. Sergeant. Sergeant. Parker. Never heard of them. Trickers. Trickers. Iron Williams. Ah. Mm. Flash. Oh, no, we got a little 90 horsepower Deutschfahrer. Mick likes the lights with a chrome. Do somebody's job that one it. Yeah. Switches fixing tractors here as well. Any brand? Everything. everything. Anything and everything. <laughs> what you got here? Got some buns. Oh, nice. Nice buns. <laughs> <laughs> that, eh? Yeah. Own branded buns. I need to get some Joe Seals buns. What? Do you know that thing over there? <coughs> Mikhail? Yeah. You know, I'm going to tell you what year we met him. You don't say. Well, know. well, you know as well. <laughs> <laughs> 1998, they de uh, designed that. Because um, Kieran from Mikhail were telling us earlier, weren't he? He's got like a, a number on it that's, that's similar to a year. Numbers, yeah. So I said, what's for 2024 for Mikhail? But he didn't really have an answer for me, did he? He told did he? No. <laughs> for me and Mick, either one hit the cafe or the bar, um, we're going to get the chrono. Don't tell Tracy. Um, we're going to taxi back. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of what it's like here. So this is the cafe. Very nice train down there. And a room with a view. We filled up with toasties and coffees. But I just wanted to look in this one because this cab is a little bit different. They've got a different gearbox, I think. Talking to Richard um, inside, he says when the tractors come in, he wraps them all in this plastic because he says he does not want it to go to a customer with an oily mark on it or anything like that he wants it to go fresh as though it's come straight from the factory so that's why we've got all this everywhere um 
so yeah this one is like a power shift the same so you just keep going up the gears there's no rangers you just keep going up or down um, and this is a bit smaller is this a 135 horsepower something like that very similar to our 130 then or, or mix 125 you see rv shift 6135 Yeah, tidy. Got cab suspension on it. I think it's even got front suspension. It has. See that? See that around there? Well spec tractor for the money. Um, should we should we go a different colour green? Let me know in the comments below. Be a decent straw blow tractor that. Wouldn't mix it, do everything, would it? It would tick out. It would tick out boxes. All power wise, nothing too. Uh, flamboyant in cab, yeah, you've got manual yeah. spools, it sort of would do um, our job quite easily. Well, I'm thinking Mick, he's disappeared into the background yeah. there, I'm going to end the video in Greece. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 it is Greece, isn't it? That's behind us, yeah. Or we, or we go to France. Oh, I could go to France, yeah. Go, yeah. Where nah, Greece. <laughs> it's all about Greece in front of the fountain. Um, if you've liked today's video, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and um, we'll see you in tomorrow's uh, video, I think. So yeah, thanks guys. See you later, bye. Richard will walk in laughing at me before we go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for inviting us. Not a problem, thank you for coming, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, if anybody needs a Deutsch tractor, you're gonna be doing some good deals. And good deals, 0% finance, four and five years, depending on the tractor. The Kale. Uh, two years and three years, 0% as well on certain products at the moment. So, yeah. Pushing it. Give him a call. RMV yeah, Machinery. Yeah, thank business. you. Water bumps are there. Yeah. Rain pipe. Got there. Yeah. There's actually a rain bar there, so it runs down really. I think it got us down into the drum and feeds it back round and back up again. <laughs> so it's as though it's raining inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, crackers. <laughs>